41 years of age, but age doesn't necessarily mean experience. We've mentioned Teslenko's 247 amateur bouts. That should trump the pro experience of Terrence Marbra. Ladies and gentlemen, we are set to go with our next Super Box Live high stakes bout of the evening. And it's all being brought to you courtesy of KO Night Boxing. Sponsored by Kansas Star Casino. Venom, the official fight gloves of Superbox Live. Venom, fight your limits. And Kansas Tourism, there's no place like Kansas. Introducing your three judges scoring this contest from ringside. Mike Contreras, Marcus Danforth, and Steve Smoger. At the sound of the bell, your third man in the ring will be Jacob Villa. And now, ladies and gentlemen, eight rounds of boxing scheduled in the heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he wears salad black trunks. He weighed in at 214 and one half pounds. His professional record, nine victories against five defeats. He has seven big wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Dade City, Florida, ladies and gentlemen, Terrence. Big Jim Marbra. Marbra. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner. He wears white with blue and yellow lettering. He scaled at a ready 216 and three quarter pounds. His professional record, a perfect one. 12 fights, 12 victories, 10 of them coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Toronto, Canada, by way of the Ukraine. Ladies and gentlemen, Alexander Teslenko. Teslenko. Hey guys, I want you to come out and box and keep it clean, all right? Keep your hands up. Here's the belt line. All right, good luck to you both. Touch them up. Here we go. Touch them up. Terrence Marber has said, I can handle Teslenko's pressure. He will not be able to handle mine. Alexander Teslenko said, psychology is the most important part of boxing for me. I'm very strong mentally. I'm going to break Marbra mentally. The bell in round number one. Tonight's fight clock is presented by Kansas Star Casino. White trunks for Teslenko, black trunks for Marbra. We should point out that Teslenko, managed by Agus Klimas, who is the manager of Sergei Kovalev and many more. That's ruled as slip correctly by referee Jacob Villa. He's also promoted by Lou DiBella, who just happens to handle WBC heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder. Those are two people in boxing who seldom make mistakes in their scouting of fighters. See a very high tight striking guard for Marbra. Teslenko slowly walking forward off the jab. There's the counter jab from Teslenko. Five seconds gone, round number one, scheduled for eight in the heavyweight division. Teslenko told us he's in no hurry, not going to force anything. Slowly wear down, slowly break down Terrence Marbra. It was the game plan that he laid out for us. It's a good body shot there from Teslenko, and that's something he's proud of. He's proud of the fact that he goes to the body. That's not something you see from a lot of heavyweights. It's just not a good leverage shot for super tall fighters, but he manages to make use of it. Barbara fighting off the back foot. Trying to establish the jab overhand right from Teslenko. Marbra Corey just finding no joy with that jab thus far here in round one. Now Marbra already looks a little confused as to how he's going to get his shots off right now. Teslenko has found his range perfectly. Straight right gets through that guard. To the body. Counter right hand from Marbra, not fully landed. That's the shot that Teslenko said he had to worry about. He said, all I have to worry about is that overhand right. Very limited offense thus far from Terrence Marbra. Marbra talked about letting Teslenko know that he's a powerful puncher within the opening minute of this fight. Right now he's playing the role of the counter puncher. Check left hook, that lands. 35 seconds remaining round one. That left hook got Marbra's attention. That sent him back. Measure controlling pace thus far in the opening round. 
from Alexander Teslenko. That hook landed on the gloves. And the snap jab from Teslenko. Barber to the inside. Effectively done on the clinch from Teslenko, getting the separation that he wants in this fight. Teslenko staying long, and we are headed to round two. See some of the action from Alexander Teslenko. So relaxed in there. There's that overhand right from Teslenko, and everything is coming off that left hand. He has Marble worried about the jab. He's hooking off of it, he's looking for the uppercut, everything working for Teslenko in the opening frame. The debut tonight of Superbox Live with KO Night Boxing High Stakes. Very animated in the corner, Terrence Barbara. Teslenko listed at 6'4 to Marbra's 6'3, but he looks a lot taller. He also stands taller. Yeah, Teslenko, a, a stoic, imposing figure in there. And this is the one thing that other observers have been so impressed by with Teslenko, just how relaxed he is. Everything that he does seems effortless in there, but it's clearly having an impact, no matter how easily it seems to be coming off. Better for Marbra off the jab to the inside. Back down to the body. Right hand partially got through from Teslenko. Oh, oh. Left hook to the body, then the snap jab. The problem for Marber right now is he's trying to overcompensate with that high guard, but he's also getting hit around that guard and to the body. So he's effectively just a walking, moving target, moving directly at Teslenko right now. And Marber to the inside, but Teslenko again getting the space. Loading there. Two minutes remaining, round two. A measured, controlling pace, exactly what Teslenko wants. Marble won the make this a firefight. Thus far has not been successful. Right hand! Well, that one shook Marble. Marble's in some trouble right now. Jacob Villa stepping in for a close look. Left hand for Teslenko. Barbara's still on unsteady legs. The ref should really have a look at this right now. We'll see now how hard Teslenko goes for the finish. A lot of time remaining, 115 to go round two. And that is it on the right hand, and the victory for Alexander Teslenko. He is definitely a heavyweight to watch. An effortless performance from Alexander Teslenko, and it's scary to use that word to describe what he just did. But Teslenko didn't have any difficulty at all. He absolutely destroyed a man in Terrence Marbra, who's been in there with Arthur Spilka, who's fought for a world title before. Teslenko made a real statement here tonight. Now 13-0 with 11 KOs. For the Ukrainian, now based in Toronto, Ontario, Alexander Teslenko. see how Teslenko got it done. He got any shot that he wanted off in this fight. And Marbra on paper was supposed to be a decent test for Teslenko. It did not play out that way whatsoever. Teslenko found all of the openings from the opening frame. And there was that right hand that was the beginning of the end. Again, digging to the body, that body work that he's so proud of. And ultimately, that's what closed the show. Saw the slight protest from Marlboro to referee Jacob Villa, but to no avail, Villa absolutely seeing enough in that right hand, officially the finish of this fight in round number two. Back we go to David Diamante. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jacob Villa calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, one minute and 47 seconds of round number two. Your winner by TKO. He's still undefeated. Oleg Sa